the tutorial on skin retouching and from today onwards I'll be starting this uh, in small short videos so the first step which I mean which I will cover is to remove uh, the blemishes from the skin uh, to smoothen in and uh, to give it a look uh, an uplift uh, to some of the areas uh, it depends that uh, how long you spend on skin retouching on the blemishes dodge and burn and uh, frequency separator so you can go this uh, step by step so the first step is to, to remove first the blemishes from the skin uh, i have downloaded this image uh, random image from a free website from free stock website even from adobe stock you can get some of the images and uh, from pixel or uh, uh, free uh, freepix.com there are many of them to name you can search it online so what I have done is that if I hide this layer, you can see that it, uh, there's a black and white. Uh, I have already done some of this work here. So if uh, I uncheck this uh, black and white layer, you can see that the smooth on the skin, which I have done on the blemishes. So I will just restart this all process. You can see a big difference. The remove of the eye back and a bit scar over here and the dots if you uh, unhide this you can see that each and every the skin is quite a bit uh, uh, smooth and you can hardly see a mark it depends on how much time you spend so for this tutorial I will go a bit fast uh, so just let you know guys that uh, how to remove these blemishes and uh, what is basically there are many ways but uh, it is one of the method to remove blemishes from a skin so let me and start from the new year okay so remove the blemishes first uh, what you need to do is that whenever you zoom an image to remove uh, this uh, quite uh, spots uh, you can sometime you overwork on some areas which is hardly to look and from time to time you need to zoom out by holding alt and then zoom back to check so the better way to do is means everybody have their own workspace but uh, what what I uh, prefer is uh, to zoom it a bit where you want to remove through some of the blemishes on the spot on the skin and go to windows uh, range and new window from skin before this is my file name whatever you will and here you can see that there this is uh, the normal view the 100% view that fits on screen view of my same zoom in image over here and to view them both together what you can do is uh, go to window again arrange and tile all vertically so what this will do this if you have zoom it over here you can see the uh, changes here on the skin so this will let you know that uh, you have not done anything or you have not to overwork to any part of the skin which uh, turns out to be an odd on this profile so let's get started for example um, is I, I have taken the copy of the original layer which I already explained and for this uh, I'll take a new layer I rename this uh, uh, blemishes right and now you need to remove uh, these spots so the better way is to for add the adjustment layer uh, like black and white so what this will do is you can see that if I go for the negative value of red around 105 or it depends you can see most of the blemishes or the most of the spots in the skin over here so it depends that you don't need to remove all of them or well, you can see the skin over here that there are a bit uh, the hard one so get rid of them and what we will do is uh, we'll come back to our blemishes layer and instead of spot healing because I'll rather not to go for spot healing because what it does is it sample around any part of uh, the area and uh, it fill up as with the content aware so what we do is that uh, I will go for the healing brush so in this you can manually select uh, the area from which you want to sample and then you can paint around so to sample the area what you need to do is hold or uh, make the brush size a bit uh, around whatever you like uh, hardness uh, keep it to 100% because you have to remove 
uh, hard the build meshes even you can press uh, the square bracket key up and down to reduce and to increase the brush size uh, yeah one more thing I just want to add I'm not using any vacuum tablet uh, because it's a bit easier with that so and one thing I just want to let you know that uh, before on this settings for uh, the spot healing uh, for this healing brush sorry I am selecting current and below why I don't why not selecting all layers because we don't want to sample from the above black and white layer that is just to let you know that how much uh, uh, spots and how much uh, blemishes you need to remove so I am on blemishes layer and I want to remove it from I want to work it on my like I want to non destructively work on my below layer so current and below so I this is one is the current and the below so let's get started for example I have to need to remove this sample from here and let me remove this a bit of scar from here alt click hold to sample remove this click hold to sample remove this or you can even go what looks hard to you remove that and one more thing click on the align one uh, my suggestion is to uh, keep it aligned what you need to do, I have show you the difference if you uncheck this and if you like for example if you sample from here if you sample it from here and you are removing this like you can see that plus sign it is the source is the plus sign and I am painting on June. but if you go further and you remove this one the source sign remains the same and it will sample it from that only source but if you click on aligned what it will do is that for example I sample it from here I want to remove this so it will sample from nearby areas like here and look a sample nearby area what is what it looks to be fine to sample from nearby areas here this nearby areas so this is what is the benefit of a line although it is not always required but uh, from time to time you can sample which is advisable and you can remove some of them the blemishes even on her face you can see the difference over here you can see the fair differences on your right let me show you you can see a bit of difference on your right right so this is how you can remove some of them by accidentally I uncheck the layer so the here you go right so here's an example of some of them to remove like there's a scar even you can go further I like to remove this hair and uh, let me get this done increase the brush size and sample it from here and paint you can see it looks a bit odd over here so just work it around and uh, now it tends to be dark a bit you sample it from here Increase this here and try again, again, again two. Right. So here you can see there's a bit change in the eye packs over here. And hence you can right. You can see the difference that the line is basically on the same. You can do over here also for the other eye. It. so that that's a big change and after you're done you can delete your black and white uh, 
there and you can see the difference that you can see some of them are gone so this uh, was the first step in removing uh, blemishes from the skin uh, do not ignore the skin uh, on the body you can see if there are some of them you can remove that I have just done this shot for the video you can take your time to remove for all of them uh, for the final for the smooth skinning so here you go this is uh, what uh, we have done so far so the next step so will be dodging bun or frequency separator so you can done this you can do this uh, as you like so I'm just uh, ending the video over here uh, to make it short so see you in uh, part two thank you and thank you for watching